okay mm, we introduced article lib software package now let's get familiar with the genesis data set because using article lib software we will process the collected genesis data and then find the position solution of a, of a point or a stations where a genesis station is uh, installed mm. okay uh, this is the survey site where we conducted our genesis survey uh so in this site uh there are two genesis station one is called wtzz which is here and another genesis station is called wt21 this is here so what we did or what we do is we run a genesis stations over the survey mark same story here uh, and we collect we collect the genesis data so uh, in these two stations these two stations are course stations course means continuously operating uh, reference stations so uh, in this station our genesis receiver is run continuously 24 hour every day uh, but uh, for uh, in our case, uh, only 24 hour observation data of this station will be used. And uh, the same for these stations. Same for this station. The observation data, the GNSS object data of these stations. Uh, is in Rhinex format and same for these stations. And here is the data, um, data of the same station WTZZ, WTZZ. And this is, this data is in Rhinex format. I will explain the file name pattern um, of this of this here are here is three files for a single station each file for a different purpose the file name pattern is in such a way that let me explain uh, this name pattern first this WT, WTZZ is four character ID of that stations. And this O indicates that this file is GNSS observation data, where a code data and courier phase data are uh, stored. This one five is the last two digit of a year 2015. But okay, the GNSS data is of year 2015. So this one five indicates the year 2000, uh, indicates the year 2015. And here is the four numeral 1820. Mm -hmm. This uh, red colored 182 is the day of year. It's a 182nd day of the year. 2015 and this O indicates the first session, uh, first session data of that station. If we have collected another session data for the same day in the same station, then uh, this would have been here, here would have been one. So, okay, this is the observation data. And here in this file name pattern, this N indicates uh, navigation data for GPS constellations. And same goes here. This G indicates a GLONASS, um, GLONASS navigation data. 
uh, the file name before decimal is same. So, okay, for a single stations, there are three types of file. The first one, which ends with the G, is a navigation data for GLONASS. The second one, which ends with N, is a navigation data uh, for GPS. And this last one, which ends with O, is a GNSS observation data. Here is a, a second station, WT21, and same as earlier stations, uh, GNSS data is collected, um, I stored in a Rhinex format, same three files, uh, observation data, navigation data, and navigation data, and same file naming pattern, first four, first four character is a WT21 and others are same. So here is the collected GNSS data for these two stations in Rhinex format. We will use this GNSS data in RTG Live software and try a different uh, positioning mode. 